Hello from Room Now. I'm Michelle Petrie with my second ACR update covering Sunday, November 7th. I want to talk about two background medications for lupus and what was new today at the ACR Convergence meeting. I think that two of the almost mandatory background medications are vitamin D and hydroxychloroquine. So first, vitamin D. Vitamin D is almost universally low in people with lupus. And I showed in one of the longitudinal Hopkins lupus cohort analyses how important vitamin D supplementation was to reduce proteinuria. But vitamin D has a lot of other cardiovascular and hematologic benefits. You know, basically it's a hormone, a sterile hormone, not really a vitamin. And one of its benefits is reducing thrombosis. But what was presented at today's plenary session was the VITAL trial. And the purpose of the VITAL trial was to try to figure out whether vitamin D supplementation of 2,000 units a day might prevent autoimmune disease. And in fact, it did, the hazard ratio of 0.78. But the problem is that it did not have enough lupus patients to comment on lupus. But here you see that the benefit occurred at two years. Now, here again is the problem. There are not enough lupus patients. Part of the reason was this was a study of middle-aged people. And of course, the lupus onset is usually going to be in younger people. But I still think it's interesting because our lupus patients get secondary autoimmune diseases, don't they? Like Sjogren's and autoimmune thyroid disease. So perhaps yet another reason to keep thinking about vitamin D and lupus. There was so much at today's meeting about hydroxychloroquine. So what do we already know? Here is the classic study from the Canadian rheumatologist showing in a randomized withdrawal study design that patients who stopped hydroxychloroquine had a 2.5 fold increase in flares. Now remember, this was the 1991 study. So what Sasha Bernaski presented today was a repeat in a way of that study but here is the reason why I don't want us even to be talking about this. I don't want to withdraw hydroxychloroquine in anyone because hydroxychloroquine has so many long-term benefits. And of course, I want you to remember it's the only medicine we have that improves survival. So I don't want to withdraw it with one exception. If someone has hydroxychloroquine retinopathy, then of course. So here's the Sasha Bernatsky presentation. And what you can see on the top is if hydroxychloroquine is reduced or on the bottom, if it's stopped, there is an increase in flares. So, you know, 30 years later, a study by a Canadian, Sasha Bernaski, confirms the original Canadian study of 1991. Now, there were many other things presented on hydroxychloroquine today. And, you know, I, I love going through the poster. So here's one I thought was really important. It's on hydroxychloroquine and adverse cardiovascular events. And I know when you see this title, you think it's going to be about hydroxychloroquine, cardiomyopathy, you know, something so rare that in the last 40 years, I've only seen it five times. But no, this was a study of hydroxychloroquine reducing congestive heart failure, arrhythmias, and cardiac death. And so in both non-smokers and smokers, there was a significant reduction of these bad cardiac events with hydroxychloroquine. And in fact, for every one milligram per kilogram increase, there was a 28% reduction. So yet another reason not to reduce the hydroxychloroquine dose just because someone's skin and joint lupus is under control. Now, finally today, here is a poster on a brand new use of hydroxychloroquine. Now, of course, if a woman with lupus is pregnant, we want her to continue her hydroxychloroquine, but this is a study of primary antiphospholipid syndrome, showing if there was low complement and triple antiphospholipid antibodies, there were significantly better outcomes if hydroxychloroquine was added to the regimen of low-dose aspirin and prophylactic heparin. 
So what we learn about hydroxychloroquine keeps going and going. It was another wonderful day at the ACR Convergence meeting. Thank you and goodbye from Room Now. <laughs>